Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more modded Darkest Dungeon. So, this time we got two modded classes, the Thrall, which we already used before, and Lamia, which we haven't used yet. And it does look like she can transform, so that should be fun. But it will give other heroes stress. And then we also have the Flagellant and the Jester. And I think we'll do something other than the Ruins this time around. Let's maybe do the Wield. Bounty Hunter item, plus 4 dodge, plus 1 speed. That will be useful, I do have a Bounty Hunter. Okay, let's do that then. That's a short dungeon. Let's grab some food. 12 food should be enough. Although food is not exactly super expensive, let's get some more. Some torches, a shovel or two. I would say at least two shovels. And I think that will do. That should be fine. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this place Welcome tends to have a lot of blockades, which means I'll probably gold. need the shovels. Let us burn out Looks like evil. it will be pretty short, but that's alright. Yeah, this requires a bandage, and I didn't bring one. I mean, we can still interact with it. Oh, slow reflexes. Minus one speed. Alright, whatever. I can deal with that. I mean, we can always remove it. Hey, we don't have a Kleptomania Crusader this time around. Oh, great. We got surprised right away. That's probably not a great start. Okay, move back. And now I have to move forward. That's basically half of our entire turn wasted. Oh well, it happens. Now we're debuffed. So what can she do? She can transform, she can heal, obviously, that's kind of why she's here. And what's this? Bypass guard, pull one guy towards us. I might do that and pull the cutthroat towards us. Yeah, alright, let's do that then. Here. And that will also debuff him. Can't be guarded, more crits received, and minus 10 dodge. We got some bleeds. Alright, let's kill this fella. And he's already dead. And then we could pull the Fusilier towards us as well. We can also buff ourselves or reduce stress. Let's buff ourselves first. So that's more speed, more accuracy and more crits for everyone. Can she remove... Yeah, she can remove Blight and Bleed. So... Honestly, this isn't really a problem. Let's pull the Fusilier. Killing him would be nice. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with the blood letter before killing the Fusilier. And he resisted the bleed. That's not going to help you, buddy. Well, never mind. He moved back. And I can't really attack him with the Thrall all that much. No, not really. Well, no, I kind of can. And I do have an item that increases my stun chance. There we go, that worked. Now we can deal with him, hopefully, before he moves back again. How about we heal ourselves this time around? It's not a huge heal, but it will remove the bleed. Just buff ourselves. Come on, don't give him a chance to move back again. And he resisted the bleed again. And he has 0% bleed resist, what the heck? I mean, now he has 0 because we debuffed his bleed. Well then, I guess I can still try this. There we go, now he's stunned. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Still, this is taking a little bit longer than it should. Partially because we got surprised, that was annoying. There we go, he's dead. Crumbles. Took long enough. How about we reduce some stress? Especially on the healer. Because I need some kind of healer in most groups. This guy still has a bleed. Might as well remove that. 
and let's finish off that guy. Come on. Can't be hard. I can make him bleed some more. Well, first I would have to move the Jester. Let's just remove the stress. And he also has a bleed. Yeah, this is taking way longer than it should. Remove that bleed, thank you very much. Sedated. Can you guys finish him off yet? That would be appreciated. He's basically dead now. But it looks like we'll get one more bleed. Oh well. That's fine, I suppose. He's basically dead though. He will die from the bleed. We might as well remove some stress. And maybe heal up. We got one more chance to heal up. Done. Let's move on. That was a pretty annoying fight. Back to default party order. I need the Jester to be right here. Otherwise, he can't use half of his abilities. I think this requires medicinal herbs. Yep. Okay, nice one. I don't need that much food, but hey, I can use it to heal myself. Why the heck not? Here's a blockade. A victim to That's why I need shovels. Malformed with misintent. Nobody here? Our objective is to complete 100% of room battles. This time we surprise them, nice. So, let's make this one a little bit quicker, shall we? They got low bleed resist, so Jester should be pretty nice. I would test this ability right here, but I kind of want to heal a bit. Maybe pull the artillery towards us. Here. It won't pull him too much, but enough to hit him with everyone. Yeah, we can finish it off before it gets a chance to attack. Nice. What's the crit buff for this guy? Plus 30% damage. Oh, that is really nice. Yeah, this guy can do some really nice damage. Yeah, this will go faster than the previous group. Slice up. I can't really target the guy in the front with the jester. That's the downside, I guess. Nine damage. Yeah, I need literally one more damage. Can she do like one damage? Not without transforming, I guess. Okay, whatever. I just need one damage. I suppose he will take that damage on the next turn. That was his last attack, though. And now we can use the Flagellant's heal. I just need him to get his turn. Don't kill them yet, I want to use my heal. Come on, give me the Flagellant, damn it. Yeah, see, I don't want to kill that Scratcher yet. Let's reduce our stress. Because I want to use Flagellant's heal, that's why I have it. We can heal him a bit, he just needs to be below 30%. Yeah, I got a crit heal when I didn't want one. Screw you then. Now they are dead. Yeah, if that wasn't a crit heal, I would have been able to use his heal because he needs to be below 33% health. <laughs> okay. Let's move on then. That was my last shovel. But we should be done pretty soon. Not that many rooms left. Not that this place had a lot of rooms to begin with. This could even technically be the last fight. That's certainly possible. And we got surprised again. Uh, actually, that was a bit of a mistake, but alright. I can still use buffs. Let's use Rain of Sorrows to make the artillery bleed. At least one of them. Do we test the Veil? I can always heal with the Flagellant. It will give me more stress, however, which I'm not too happy about. Let's pull artillery towards us, because these guys can do a fair bit of damage. They can also mark me, which I'm not too happy about. At least they marked the tankiest guy. Death waits for the 
Yeah, he mowed himself back. Okay, so hold on. What do we do here? What's this? That will do one damage. It will mark him. Oh, it will activate repost. Yes, yeah, sure, let's do that. He can take it. And he will do damage that way. And he is quite tanky. He doesn't quite have any protection, but I can heal him. Minus five dodge. Okay, now I can use the heal. That heal is amazing, but it requires the flagellant to be below 33% health. And it can only be used twice per battle. But it is really nice. Let's buff ourselves. Because this might take a few more rounds. The blood quickens. Let's test the veil. Alright, I want to see that. Here. Now she's a little bit uglier. And we got the horror effect. And we can attack right away. So that's a stun. It will also move her. We can move forward. Three positions. And do some damage. Also buff her dodge. Maybe not a bad idea. But that will move the flagellant back, which I don't necessarily want. There's also blight, but these guys have 60% blight resist. Let's go with the stun. That's 90% base. Okay, debuff, they resisted all the stuns. But they got a dodge and speed debuff. Unfortunately, now I'll have to move the flagellant. Because he can't quite attack from that position right there. At least I don't think he can. Well, I think he can use Reign of Sorrows. Just wait for his turn. That will be enough for a kill, nice one. And we moved the artillery forward. I kind of hope this will be the last fight, but probably not. If I had to guess. Also, I probably don't want to stay in this form for too long. No, probably not. Can we move backwards? Not really. We could try another stun. Let's try that. There we go, all three of them are stunned. That is a really nice ability, but I don't like the horror effect too much. Let's move forward. And clear some stress. Because I don't really want to reach 100 too early. At least now most of their group is stunned. Wait, what? Oh, that's not good. That's like a damage debuff, I think. Minus 5 accuracy, minus 10% damage, minus 10% maximum health. That's pretty annoying. Well... I kind of need to move forward. This will do some damage, though. That's enough for a kill. That's also enough for a kill. Here. That will do. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, that's a random target. Yeah, random target range. Right, I didn't read that part. Uh, let's finish this already. I'm going to go back to human form because you know i don't want to hit 100 stress we know what that does now it's pretty powerful but i want my heals back i need to get rid of some of these blights because that's nasty i'm glad i got the jester the jester will be quite useful combined with her all right people let's kill these guys and go home that would be appreciated. Need slightly more damage on the artillery. The only chance I got to hit it is with tremors. The there we go, falls, that actually worked. So now we're done. That was a pretty annoying fight. Success. Slayer so only clearly. item, don't quite have a slayer here. How about we just use that anti-venom? Just use both, because I'm about to need inventory space anyway. We are not done yet. Let's check this room. Maybe keep our torch level high. 
this might still get quite challenging. Seriously? Watch your step. Well, I still got the food. Let's just heal ourselves. That will do. Hopefully this room will be empty. Yep, but I had to check it. Just in case it's not empty. So there's going to be a fight in one of these. Otherwise we would have been done now. We are in a decent shape. Could have been a bit better. Let's keep our torch level high. Yeah, I don't remember what this uses. I don't think it uses anything. But it has a chance to increase our stress level, if I remember correctly. I might be mistaken. I'm going to ignore it. I don't want to risk hitting 100 stress. We don't know how many fights there are left, so I'd rather not take that risk. I don't want to be forced to abandon this quest. Anyway, these guys should be pretty easy to deal with. They can get fairly annoying though. Here, one down. Give them no quarter. I kind of want the flagellant to take some damage, so that I will be able to use his heal. He just needs to be below 33% health. Yeah, they are targeting the jester. With that annoying blight. Back to the pit. Oh well, maybe next time. Yeah, let's remove that blight, shall we? Done. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. What's that? Leper only. Don't have a leper here. I think I got one leper on my roster, however, and that's not too bad. More accuracy. That is actually really useful for a leper. Because he tends to have problems with accuracy. Okay, one more corridor fight, apparently. Alright then, at least we didn't get surprised this time around. Confusion. See, I'm not a huge fan of short dungeons because we can't rest. Short dungeons can sometimes be harder than medium dungeons. Because you can't rest. Anyway, harvest. That might kill the cutthroat. Yes, with the bleed. Unfortunately, the fusilier resisted the bleed. Now we can use the heal with the flagellant. Just don't die on me, bro. See, I want to use Lamia's heal on him, but I don't want to get to that crit heal again. Let's just heal the Thrall. And dodged. Okay. Give me the flagellant already, damn it. Okay. I think he has low speed. No, he has 5 speed. Slice off. That's enough for a kill, nice one. Come on, give me the flagellant. Let's heal the Thrall, shall we? And it will heal the flagellant. This heal is so good, but again, you can only use it twice per battle. And only when he's below 33% health. Still, that is a really good heal. Easily one of my favorite abilities on the flagellant. Let's reduce some stress. Well then, is he dead? No, he's not. Will this do one damage? No. Okay, fine. Let's just heal up a bit. Now he's dead. 1100 gold, not bad. Uh, this requires a shovel, I remember as much. And I remember it can give you a disease if you try to do it without a shovel. Unfortunately, I'll have to clear this blockade without a shovel. Fortunately, we are almost done. This is going to be the last fight. That looks pretty easy, and we surprised them. But we might hit 100 stress because of the acolytes. Let's try to kill them. At least one of them. Reign of Sorrows. They got, what, 20% bleed resist? Uh, that one is almost dead. 
I'm not using the Veil, because that will make our guys hit 100 stress easily. Let's pull this one towards us. I just need slightly more damage on that one. So let's just go for the granted kill here. That way I will avoid at least some stress. I will probably hit 100 on someone. 88. Yeah, the Flagellant is actually fine. He kind of benefits from 100 stress, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Might be able to use his heal. Yeah, we got this. Unless something really terrible happens. We basically got this. That was a pretty annoying run, however. Okay, my turn. Slice off. That's a nice bleed. And yep, can't use the heal just yet. Let's go with Rain of Sorrows. That will remove the corpse and it will make the Acolyte bleed some more. And now she will die. Nice. I will not hit 100 stress. Just need to finish off the brawlers and we can go home. That's a kill right there. One more heal. I just need one good attack and we're done. Done! Okay then. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. Brought low and driven into the mud. What did we get? Corruption is an endless battle. Gold. But one that must oh yeah, that bounty hunter item. I will definitely use that on Geralt, actually. Sickly, minus 10% disease resist. Wield adventurer, minus 4 speed on the first round. Okay. And I got that minus 1 speed time, quirk you will know on the, the flagellant. Of my failings. First contact. A junk has entered a nearby port. The eastern sailors carry rare items for trade and a unique culture. They seem to be friendly. Travel to their land and establish favorable relations. Oh yeah, now we can do the modded area right here, Sunward Isles. I have no idea how hard this is. It says level 1, but I don't know. It seems suspicious. I have never done this. I haven't seen anyone else do it. On purpose, I do not want spoilers. So we could give it a shot, I don't know, we'll see. Let's check the stagecoach. Okay, we got a cook. She can do some healing. In fact, she can do healing over time. I will definitely grab her, we do not have a cook yet. I'll grab another Bogater. I mean, we might as well grab everyone. Same as usual, I can always dismiss them. The I don't think One I have an occultist yet. And they can heal. It's not a very reliable heal, but they can heal. So we got 44 crests and 40 busts. Let's use them for something. What about the tavern? One more slot in the bar would be nice. Yeah, that requires portraits. What about the abbey? Yeah, I could upgrade the cloister, maybe. That uses busts and crests. Let's do that then. So one more slot. Here, now I can send two people. Preferably our healers. The Lamia, where is she? She's level 1 now, isn't she? Where the heck is she? I'm not seeing her. What? What the heck? Wait. Oh, no, yeah. She's here. <laughs> I thought she's gone for a moment. Okay, let's send her. And maybe the Thrall? He had a disease. Oh, yeah. We should probably remove that. We'll send somebody else. The Flagellant. But he has to go to the Penance Hall. And the Jester. And let's remove that disease, shall we? That shouldn't be too expensive. It's 150. I can live with that. So, we can still send one person to the Gambling Hall, maybe? And not really. Nobody else needs it right now. Well, anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, 
or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.